Well, let's hear Jörg Rochel once more, financial expert from the European School of Management and Technology here in Berlin. Okay, we just heard 300 million euros from Deutsche Bank and up to 15 billion from other banks. That's not peanuts, is it? It's not peanuts, uh, but still it's only a start uh, for a more um, a global recovery of, of credit markets. Um, at the same time, there's a lot of confusion on what really is a credit crunch and uh, whether we actually are in a credit crunch or not. Um, and are the we? Uh, the figures are very uh, misleading, uh, can be very misleading. So um, some, for example, the aggregate credit volume in Germany as well as in the United States kept increasing over a long period throughout the financial crisis. And at the same time, we do see um, the complaints of companies that there is a credit crunch. So I think we need a new database to really figure out uh, whether there is a credit crunch or not. Okay, well, leaving aside uh, the definition of credit crunch, there are companies that are in need of money. Now, Chancellor Merkel said that unless this situation credit improves, she will uh, force uh, to implement a kind of mediator to do what? Well, the mediator uh, would really be there to match demand and supply, and this has worked in France. About 2 billion uh, euros have been matched in, in loans, and this would also be one part uh, to, to make this market in Germany work again. And who will make sure that the loans given out or handed out are actually safe and good loans? Well, in the end, this uh, should be the duty of the banks, um, and this is why maybe there's some good reason for them to say, let's be very careful and let's make sure that all the borrowers are creditworthy. Jörg Rohol, thank you very much for joining us.